Hello, so big welcome to today's angel event for you. Hooray, hooray. We're going to be doing a angel messages for you with an angel card reading. It's going to be a two card reading today for you. So thank you so much for coming live and replay. It's also going to be a body scan, relaxation and meditation with the angels as well. So please say hello live or replay. That would be amazing. If you haven't, I'm, angels are tickling my nose already, so I'm already feeling the presence of the angels. So if, so if you feel any little tickles on your nose or your face or your head or your arms or whooshing down your legs, you'll know that the angels are saying hello to you and just showing you their presence in that tickly, soft as a feather way. If you haven't met me before, so thanks for coming. I'm Beverly Densham, author of the beautiful book, I Talk to Angels. Angel expert for, let's go the right way, <laughs> Spirit and Destiny magazine. I'm also a mindfulness Pilates teacher to help people reduce back pain to feel good as well. So lots of different elements of my work, but all of them working with the angels, which is beautiful. So thanks for coming. Where are you all in the world? How, let's talk about the weather. How is it today? <laughs> it's very grey and rainy here in Paul Dorset by the sea at the moment. So we'll get started in just a moment for today's event. Invite your friends along. Uh, share if you're guided to as well. Please say hello in the comments and comment away. It's a beautiful chance in the angel event every week together to share your angel journey and your angel experiences. So I'm about to write the next article, um, Angel Q&A for the magazine. So thank you for those of you who sent in questions, some really, really interesting questions coming up in one of the next issues. Oh, my goodness. So thank you for those coming in. Um, any announcements? Yes, I, I had a really, um, my, my latest I Talk to Angels podcast came out today and had a really interesting conversation. It's called A Conversation with Astrology and the Angels. Ooh. <laughs> very interesting and the the angels really showed their clairsentience of feeling the angels messages to confirm different things in relation to astrology was really interesting actually so some of you might enjoy a listen of that thanks for coming and um, before we start today also I've got my five day angel boot camp coming up for you and that starts on Monday the 15th of March and you can enjoy the workshops anytime there's healing and forgiveness with the angels workshop which is very deep healing and meditation and workshop workshop two is clearing money blocks with the angels and workshop three is your soul purpose with the angels which can be a personal and a work thing too so if you'd like to come along comment away and I'll put the link after some of you might like to come along so let's get started. I'm just going to wait for the magazine to turn up as well. So how are you all doing? Life is like the waves of the sea. It can be up and down and in and out and up and down. So um, I'm hoping that today's event will help you and inspire you in some way. So we're going to do March messages, what the angels would like you to know for the rest of March and a beautiful body scan meditation. Hello, it's chilly, says Lorna. I've got the heating on here. <laughs> I didn't care. Oh, well, I thought we'd finish with the heating in the day. Pritpal says, hi. Hello, says Tracy. Hi, everyone. Night is a celebrity. Very warm and humid here in Western Australia tonight. So you're all in different time zones. Hi, Julia. Hi, Beverly. And shared, says Pritpal. Thank you so much if you shared. As you said about the angel prick, prick, prickles, I started to get them, says Claire. You're feeling your guardian angel's presence. That's amazing. Julia says, wet and miserable in Sussex. <laughs> I still quite like going for a walk with rain, rain proof, um, waterproofs on though, do you? Hi Maureen, hi Claire. Wet, gusty, overcast in Cambridge. Oh, we're all in the same boat then. Ornia, have I pronounced it right today? Yes, I have. I've mastered it, Ornia. I've mastered it. It's amazing. Uh, I think I'm seeing you on the boot camp, Anna. am I, I think? Nigel says, been getting some buzzing sensations around my third eye and crown chakras. Ornia says, workshop sound fab let's get going hi chris gorgeous to see you hello all we're here woohoo right let's get started so we're going to today do a gorgeous body scan meditation now body scan meditations are amazing have any of you experienced a body scan meditation before i teach them in many many different ways i'm really excited to do it for you today because i haven't actually um i've taught millions of <laughs> meditations in my lifetime but we're going to combine the angels with the body scan which I think is going to be extra beneficial and beautiful but I just want to mention about meditation yes it's very very good to do meditation as a standalone thing like we're going to do today and you can do it sitting or lying down however 
What you want to be doing with your relaxation and meditation practice is incorporating it into your lifestyle and into your day. Now, when I say that, it can be at any time. Um, doesn't mean you're... Okay, so like, for example, yesterday I went to the dentist. Um, and at times I felt stressed and tensed at the dentist. But anyway, at one point, the dentist had gone off to put on a whatever it's called, PP, whatever it's called, um, extra, I don't know, outfit on to do the dentist stuff. And uh, so at that point, I was able to just lie there and relax. And I just did a body scan meditation. But other times when she was doing the dental treatments, I, I noticed like different bits of my body and my muscles in at different areas were tensing. And then my right buttock was tensing. And I just did the body scan meditation just without my audio or anything. I just did it while I was there because it's not practical. You can't be putting headphones in, pressing play, pausing, that, that you can't. You, but you can use the tools and the skills at that moment. And then my, my buttock relaxed and the other muscles relaxed and <laughs> the tense arms relaxed. And basically using the breathing and, and the skill of it and the knowledge of it in not just during those lovely calm meditation times, but also during stressful moments or or things that you might get a bit anxious about and stuff. And it can help, you know, lower the levels down, which is pretty amazing. So what should we start with today? We'll start with some March messages. Before we go into the March messages, I wanted to share with you today. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Invite your friends, share if you like. Uh, give it some hearts if you're ready for some March messages and a body scan meditation today. So I just wanted to share that little dentist body scan example with you. Have any of you used your mindfulness and your meditation um, in times like that? Because it's really helpful, I must say. The hearts are coming in. We're all ready, ready to go. <laughs> Raining, says Maureen. Ornia says, love, love body scans. I have a few healers I'd, I see do body scans. It's really good. Um, I've done a body scan meditation. It's lovely and very relaxing. That's me if I go to the dentist, says Chris. <laughs> what, are you using the relaxation techniques to help relax you? I've just booked a dentist appointment. I've been putting it off and I'm dreading it. Okay, Samantha, report back um, by uh, how you get on by using today's breathing and relaxation techniques whilst you're there. So I actually lay there in, in the chair while she'd gone off the dentist um, doing a meditation. I was really relaxed. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever like, done a meditation at the dentist. <laughs> okay. Lots of hearts coming in. We're ready. Okay, so I'm just going to ask, make sure we're in a high vibration, protected, beautiful space here. Just going to ask Archangel Michael to place a blue purple cloak bubble of protection around you and me and Spirit and Destiny magazine Facebook page. Just take a breath in and out. Thank you, Archangel Michael. I'm just going to ask the angels to help you and me see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to say today. So we're going to start off with some March messages again. Spring is filled with signs of new life. These signs are an expression of the love that life has for you and the limitless opportunities held within each day. This month, I allow love within my own being to radiate out of me. So this is from Louise Hayes' I Can Do It calendar. Now, I really love today's message. It doesn't matter what date it is today, but today's message for you is my goal is to... Okay, my goal is to be in love with every moment. I choose to have fun doing this and I choose to be free. Angels are absolutely loving that. So whatever day you're watching this on, whether it's right now or in replay, what a beautiful message. And just comment as we go along with what the messages mean to you. Okay, we're gonna go into a positive affirmation card message today. Now I have already picked one, we're gonna pick one more from my Happy Kids Cards deck. These are amazing to use every morning and for you or with um, child or children, family too. Best card message to help with March messages, please. Peace. Bring in as much peace as you can. It says all is calm and well. I am at peace within. So for March, you know, just make it as peaceful as possible. And watch the tone of voice, you know, if you do happen to live with other people, family, child, children, you know, make sure it's the tone of our voices are peaceful. And it's very easy to um, 
the interesting thing, it's very easy when somebody, for example, raises their voice, a child or children, for example, it can be anyone, or snap, snappy, um, that the other person can join in. But the angels are saying react peacefully. But also, if this does happen, to get to get things back to peace and obviously, you know, get an apology and a sorry and, and start with a lovely clean slate again with the peacefulness. For some reason, the angels want to bring up that example today. And just bring as much peace into your day, your life, your work as possible because the angels are saying you deserve it. Yes. Okay, angel card message. Let's see what you're all saying about all of this. Comment with what today's messages mean to you. That'd be amazing. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, hi, Jules. Lovely to see you. Um, let's see what we all say. Lorna says, my guys help me um, body scan others for healing. So it says, I only see white colours in meditation. Do you ever see colours eventually? Um, some people do, Sarah. Some don't. Some see none. I'm not really a colours person. Um, so if you see white, that's beautiful. It's very angelic. Um, yeah, everyone's very different what they get in meditation. Um, yeah. So I won't worry whether you do or you don't. But some... Some areas do develop and shift and change and some aren't meant to. So just trust that and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Maureen says, I've used mindfulness and meditation lately when waiting in the doctor's surgery. It was so useful. Brilliant, Maureen. Do you use Reiki as well? Because obviously you are about to do your Reiki too. Georgine says, I do hypnosis on myself at the dentist. Fantastic. I will use this when I next go on a plane. Brilliant, Nigel. Yeah, you can use it anywhere, anywhere. Sometimes at work, as it's so manic, I try to take a minute to calm myself, says Claire. I get, I get um, the tet. I get is that tense when I go to the dentist. So you can start to relax more now. I had a feeling on Monday and had um, white knuckles. <laughs> oh, dear, does that mean you were tensing so much? So relax next time. Relax. It doesn't help tensing. It doesn't. Give yourself permission to relax. Suzanne says, "I'd love a card." Yes, the card. This is a two-card reading for all of you. Maureen says, I have that wee calendar sitting on my desk. Love it. It's great, isn't it? It's a wonderful present for people too. Thank you, Louise. Hey for it. I've got that calendar. It's great. Going to save some affirmations for a vision board, says Jules. Wonderful. That's a lovely card for today. Be kind to one another. This brings in peace. Exactly. Ornia, it's good to be reminded to be peaceful. I feel I'm lacking peace a lot at the moment, says Claire. So good you've come to this. Let's bring in more peace today. I had the gratitude card come. I think that's going to be um, it's going to be a peaceful body scan meditation today with the angels, which we'll start in a few minutes. Um, I had a gratitude card come out today from your cards, Bev says Chris. Wonderful. Yes, Suzanne, we're doing a two card reading for you all. I often get lots of bright colours, loving the messages, trying to develop inner peace. It comes more and more. We've all got it within us and we can develop it more and more. Living with an overstressed person, this card resonates a lot with me. It's a real um, lesson in how we react, isn't it? The more, the more we are good in ourselves, the, easy, the, the more peaceful it is. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do a slide reading here. Let's see what we got. March message, please. From the Angelic Meaning Cards. This is from my deck of angel cards called the Angelic Meaning Cards, which I wrote at the beach and words, actually, a little bit of the words, um, with my guardian angel. Right, so we've got the dad message. How interesting. It says, send a card to your dad to say seven things you are grateful for. If your dad's in heaven, write a card to say all the things you'd love to say. What does that mean to you? The angels are suggesting you perhaps journal about that and have a think about that or comment if you're comfortable to, you don't have to. Um, but it is an important message, but they want you to do some self-reflection on that one. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to, we're going to do one fun exercise. Should we do it now before meditation? Okay, would you love to do a calm to happy exercise now, everyone, before we go into meditation? When we are peaceful and calm, we can hear the messages from our angels better, says Nigel. It's very, very true, actually. And if we're overtired, it's much harder to hear the messages. It's, I really think that. 
um, so sleep and self care and um, and all of these things and having a work life balance helps so much. Having an angel morning routine, oh my goodness, it just all helps so much. Tracy says my dad has passed and I've been feeling him around a lot at the moment. Tracy, sorry to hear about your loss. Um, it's good that you're you're feeling his presence though. I thought to my dad this morning, I'm getting angel tickles as I read this, Sarah, and how much I miss him. How strange. I'm getting very tickly, Sarah, reading your message there. Oh, wow, says Jane. That's so right for me. My dad passed away 28 years ago in March. The anniversary is soon. I think about him every day. So this dad message is really um, poignant. You know, quite a few of you have um, physically lost your, your dad, your father, um so it's just a time of reflection and a time to remember as well and it doesn't mean you can't still write a, a card to to him if you want to for some of you it'll be um needing to get things off your chest as well Nigel says my dad has been coming up in my dreams lately I keep getting number sequences of at uh, 112 113 and 114 Yours has passed too, says Suzanne. Sending love. Ornia says, my dad's been in spirit for eight years. I will enjoy journaling about him later. Yeah. So for all of you who've, who've lost your loved one, I always sing happy birthday on a loved one's birthday who's passed away and things like that. I find that a really nice thing to do and, you know, take time to remember and talk about them and things like that. You know, it's not just at the time of a funeral that we, we can take time for these things. And uh, the last time I got this card, I sent my daddy a text with all the things I'm grateful for. He loved it. Ah, uh, you can also you can do a card in the post as well. Thank you for sharing that, Maureen. There's so many, so many um things. Oh, it's 11th of April. I see when he passed it, Nigel. Yeah. Okay, should we do this exercise? So we're going to do calm to happy in one minute, and then go into body scan meditation. This is a really fun thing I do with a lot of my clients. So we're going to use the affirmation. We're going to go from a calm, tiny meditation into energizing. So you can do this sitting or standing. I teach it a lot standing as well. Um, and then after the first four breaths of relaxing with eyes closed, you're then going to open the eyes. If your shoulders are injury free and OK, you're then going to punch the arms up in the air 10 times with the affirmation out loud or silently. I am happy. Are you ready? Join in. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. And again, I am happy. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. I am happy. Sitting or standing with good posture. Feet hip width apart. And again, I am happy. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Relax. I am happy. One more. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Relax. I am happy. Okay, opening your eyes. You're going to punch the arms in, in the air now 10 times with the affirmation, I am happy. I and silently or out loud. You can go for it with me if you like. I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. Or visualize the arms if you prefer. I am happy. 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 Imagine you're going off a, across a finishing line and you're winning a race. I am happy. If you're standing, you can jump in the air if you want to. How do you feel? Did that make you feel happy? <laughs> I love it. It's so fun. It raises the vibration, makes you feel happier. And now we can go into the body scan meditation with the angels. Close your eyes when you're ready. We're going to do this quietly today. The angels loved it anyway. Give it some hearts if you enjoyed it. Angels are tickling my nose a lot. Okay. Puffed out some of you. <laughs> okay, so close your eyes for meditation. Breathe and relax. Welcome to your body scan meditation with the angels. You can sit or lie down for this. It can be really nice to lie down. If you want to tuck yourself up in a cozy blanket, you can. Eyes closed and relaxed. In through your nose now, out through your nose, relaxed. Relax your tummy muscles. And keep your breathing going now. And you're going to be scanning through your body all the way from the tips, uh, all the way from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and all the way to the tips of your fingers. 
Taking you into an angel prayer now, Archangel Michael, please place a blue purple cloak bubble of protection around you and me and the Facebook page. And that this meditation and body scan with the angels is for the highest good of you and everyone and everything around you. Thank you. Guardian angels, please help us see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to say today. Thank you. Going to do the I talk to angels prayer for you, especially for you. Breathe and relax, guardian angel. Please surround you with your unconditional love. Close your eyes. Shine your bright light on you for guidance, positivity, healing, happiness, and inspiration. Let your light shine on you like the sun in your life and work. Guardian angel, please help you to talk to you and to receive your guidance and love with gratitude. I thank you. Breathe and relax. Scanning through now all the way from the head, neck and shoulders, all the way down through your back, your upper back, middle back to lower back. And just notice and observe how you're feeling in that area. Now, if there's any tension, tightness, stiffness, stress, anything like that, negativity in any area or the whole area, take a breath in or take a breath in anyway. And then as you exhale, blow it out the window. <sighs> blow loud if you like. And just allow that area to relax now. And on the next in and out breath, just going to fill that whole area with love, healing and relaxation. Going to ask the Archangel, Archangel Raphael to be with you now as well, the healing Archangel and picture or sense or know that there's an emerald green healing light there. And allow that light from the angels to build up in your heart area and just to expand outwards through your mind, body and spirit. Just like a soothing, healing balm of positivity, of healing, peace and relaxation. What a lovely sensation. And now scanning through your arms, your shoulders, to your arms, to your hands and your fingers. Rest your arms wherever's comfortable. And notice if there's any area of tension, tightness, stiffness, stress or negativity. Breathe into it. Blow it away. <sighs> Loudly if you like. <laughs> Laugh if you like. <laughs> and then just allow this beautiful ball of healing lights to just wash over you. And allowing that whole area to scan through now. Filling the area with healing, love, relaxation and peace. Feeling so peaceful. You are peaceful. You are peace. You are love. Moving on to the legs now. Scanning through all the way, kind of from the, the low back buttock area, all the way down the legs to the feet and the toes. And just notice how it's feeling. Take a breath in. Any tension, let it go. Blow it away. <sighs> At least some of it. So well done for noticing that. Well done for just allowing that lovely green healing light to expand outwards both for yourself but also send there's plenty of it so send it out to to help others too it's creating compassion and kindness and peace and love for others too but allow that to wash all over through the legs feet and toes now filling you with love healing and relaxation you deserve it And you'll notice that your breathing will have calmed more and more. And you'll feel more and more peaceful. And at one with yourself and at peace.
And you can use this beautiful body scan, relaxation, meditation technique with the angels anytime as a beautiful standalone relaxation like this in bed at night or any time you feel you could do with this gorgeous, calm and relaxation in mind, body and spirit. But stay alert as you do it. Anytime your mind wanders off to say well done for noticing and back you go to concentrating on your body and your breath. Allowing that beautiful green healing light to expand within and all around you. If your shoulders are okay, just allow, you can circle the arms or just allow or visualize the, the, the kind of green healing light of Archangel Raphael, just beautiful healing light from the, the universe, just expanding around you and from the angels and expanding out to help both you and everyone and everything around you. Because every time you do meditate and relax or connect in with the angels, that won't just help you, that will ricochet it out to help others too. So well done to you for that. So gonna yawn now or take a breath in. Wiggle your fingers open your and toes, open your eyes slowly and have some water would be really good. How are you feeling? Did you enjoy today's angel body scan meditation? Did you enjoy the green healing light? It doesn't matter if you can see it or not, it was there. And how did your muscles feel? And I hope it inspires you to use that at other times, whether it's bedtime or to do this again another time. I teach this to my mindfulness Pilates clients all the time. Um, this sort of thing, it's amazing. Thank you for the hearts. I'd love to know how you're feeling and whether you enjoyed that today. So I personally like doing it lying down. I stayed sitting just to stay with you in the moment, but I'd always do it lying down, <laughs> either A, in bed, or B, in the dentist chair, or anywhere <laughs> kind of thing, really. Uh, my other favourite place is on my mat, on my, with a cosy blanket and having nice essential oils around me. What about you? Wow, so lovely, um, says Spirit and Destiny magazine. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's see your messages, everybody. So Ornia says, really nice and happy. Thank you. Enjoyed that. <laughs> Samantha enjoyed the exercise before we puffed out. Um, some of you said that your dad isn't, aren't being nice, challenging in general. Yes, it's not always an easy one, the mother-father card for some people. So, um, you know, obviously it's good getting help and support with that side of things. Dad's birthday on Friday, says Tracy. Julia says, my dad has um, beginnings of dementia. I'm sorry to hear this and has gone to a daycare centre for the first day today. Oh, says Julia. Oh, thank you for sharing. So I've been thinking of him lots this morning. Crip Pal's dad passed away 15 years ago, but today his picture keeps coming in front of me and the card came. Feel great, says Maureen. Smiling away. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I said, have a lot of issues with both shoulders, been feeling pulses of energy through them. Hopefully you've seen a doctor, physio, osteopath, chiropractor about that, Nigel. And then Pilates is the next step after that. Um, my dog is called Raphael, says Georgina. Oh, how amazing. Uh, Spirit and Destiny magazine, if you've got a takeaway tip today, I will give one um, at the end. I felt we're nearly there. We've got about two minutes to go, everyone. So stay with us. Stay with the angels and me. I felt heat on my neck and my left shoulder and right foot started itching. It, by the way, if the tingles or tickles or ringing in the ears or any of that gets too hot or tickly, just tell the arson to calm it down if that happens. Claire says good, thank you. And that was lush. Thank you, says Ornia. Thanks, says Prip Puff. I feel great, says Tracy. I really enjoyed it, says Nigel. Reminds me of a relaxation exercise my secondary school drama teacher made us do each lesson. Well, I think your drama teacher was fantastic, Claire. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Jane says, loved it. Saw the green and then it changed to blue and purple. Then back again, says Jane. Ooh, very relaxed. Thank you. Very relaxing, says Chris. Had a warm golden light on the ends of my vision on both sides, says Claire. Fantastic. Yes, felt extremely relaxed. Thank you. 
As we're also relaxed, don't forget the new issue of Spirit Destiny is out tomorrow. Even more relaxation tips. Oh gosh, I've, thank you. That's great. Don't forget to subscribe as well. It's lovely to get the either online or the, I like the paper one the best. Um, I've got to finish reading this one. Um, so you can read my angel Q&A, which is out tomorrow. I'm looking forward to getting mine through the door. Felt good during and felt tickling on my forehead. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing, everyone. Give it some more hearts if you enjoyed it today. And um, yeah, if any of you would like to come, I'd love to see more of you. Thank you for those of you already coming to my five-day angel boot camp. It starts on Monday the 15th of March. Don't worry, where, whatever time zone you're in, you just do the workshops at your own pace. Um, workshop one's healing and forgiveness with the angels. Workshop two is... Um, clearing money blocks with the angels and workshop three is your soul purpose with the angels so really look forward to seeing more of you there comment if you want to book in I'll put the link and details for you afterwards for that and um yeah have a really great week I'll be back for you every week uh, same time same place uh, for the angel event meditation reading got a different topic uh, theme every week for you one o'clock London time Wednesday on the spirit and destiny magazine page um today's takeaway tip is obviously connecting with the angels every day, but use the body scan meditation in your daily life over the next week. Either it's as a beautiful meditation like that or incorporate it into times when you're feeling stressed or anxious, whether it's dentist, whether it's um, you want to feel calm at bedtime, but use it at different times, um, sitting, standing or lying down and um, use it practically um, to allow yourself to be in the best state, mind, body, spirit that you possibly can. Yeah. So big thank yous. Lots of hearts. Thank you so much. Always as interested in the workshops. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Bev. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Have a beautiful week. And the angels are sending you so, so much love. And thank you, Spirit and Destiny magazine. And thank you, everyone, to the angels. Always thank the angels. That's really important. And share if you're guided to. See you next week. And lots and lots of love. See you.